take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Hey, good morning, good morning, guys Yeah, we're leaving the flying hook this morning And I know it's fairly dark out here, but uh, hey Figured I'd start my morning early, yeah, we gotta go down there and make a delivery, yeah, we got 45 minutes to do it in order for us to make it there on time, so uh, let's hammer down and let's make our way to uh, Thunder Bay and uh, let's go make our delivery, yeah. I can't wait till that's done and then that way I can hammer down going home. Home sweet home, they say. Yeah. I know it's probably pretty dark on the camera. I know the GoPro ain't very good at uh, at showing video at night, but one of these days I'm gonna be able to afford a different camera that's better at night. So we'll just have to wait till that day comes, right? I guess so, and some of you guys are probably wondering, what is that red blinking light on the windshield? Well, that is the light for the camera. Let's me know it's recording, because the GoPro doesn't have any screen. Unless you buy the cheaper version. Uh, the cheaper version actually does have a screen on the uh, 4, and uh, mine doesn't, so, uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, We'll go make our two deliveries up here in Thunder Bay and then uh, make our way home. So, uh, appreciate you guys tuning in today. Let's stick around for the rest of the show, guys, would ya? Yeah, guys, we are excited to report to you all that we have gotten our loads off in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Yes, indeed, we have. We are hammered down on our way home sweet home now we shall make it home this afternoon if nothing goes wrong we got about six and three quarter hours to drive we will probably make a pit stop somewhere yet but uh, other than that we will keep that left door closed and hammer down home sweet home oh yeah I'm excited to go take me a couple of days off of these I mean, it will only pre, you know, Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to be going out on Monday again if they give me a load. But, uh, hey, we got a surprise for you. If we do get a load, we got a surprise for you. Yeah, you're just going to have to stay tuned and see what the surprise is. But uh, we can't quite say it just yet because uh, we don't know if we'll get a load yet on Monday, right? Because we're only asking for a... Uh, short load because uh, we want to be uh, back on the 29th again so that way we can go do some stuff there uh, for New Year's but uh, yeah so we will be uh, taking us a few uh, few days off and uh, enjoy Christmas yeah we will be uh, having Christmas at home tomorrow We'll be doing our uh, Christmas gifts unwrapping and all that tomorrow. And uh, the kids will get their gifts. We obviously didn't buy each other anything. At least I didn't buy the wife anything. And as far as I know, she didn't buy me anything. We really haven't been into that. So, uh, you know, most important thing for us is to be home and enjoy each other's company and, and have family time there with the kids and enjoy, uh, enjoy the day with the family you know and, and that's that's more more important to us than giving each other's gifts you know but uh, you know the kids they love to get a few g gifts or whatever right so uh, my son has already asked for something that he would like and uh, yeah, we kind of did get him that <laughs> yeah so let's see how he's gonna react on what he's getting I hope he will enjoy the gift that we got him certainly wasn't a cheap one but hey uh, kids only live once right and uh, what we got him is something that he could use for a long time not just for a short time 
and he's at that age you now where he can actually uh, take advantage of that for a long time so as long as the item doesn't break right but uh, yeah we are hammered on hammered on nothing like a beautiful sunshine morning on your way home for Christmas Day right well tomorrow's only the 24th but uh, you know I ain't gonna complain like beautiful sunshine hardly any wind just hammer down going home yes indeed <laughs> Sweetest melons in all the cotton county. She used to feed me grapes and call me lover man. One day her dad stopped me just as I was leaving. Said, Boy, I think it's time we had a word or two. Guess what are your intentions when it comes to my daughter? I was a grocery man, I'll tell you what I intend to do. Gonna sail my boat on the wide Mississippi. Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi All the way down to New Orleans Kick it! Said your buns look yummy, how much for half a dozen? She waited and said, I'll buy a little sample for free. She left me in the kitchen, things were getting steamy. She said, I've always dreamed about a man like you. And you could be my steady if it wasn't for my husband. Right then I checked her off my list of things to do. Gonna sail my boat on the wide Mississippi. Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi All the way down to New Orleans I'm gonna sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi All the way down to New Orleans Gonna sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi All the way down to New Orleans a little bit of a pit stop up here in uh, Ignis, Ontario. We had to uh, clean our uh, windshield on the side and clean the mirrors so we could actually see something out of there and uh, as you probably saw in the previous clip we did uh, fly the drone a little bit. I uh, tried to fly follow a truck that way there the same direction we're going going westbound that worked out all right the only problem was uh 
There is a little bit of a crosswind here today, and it uh, kept wanting to push the uh, the uh, drone, I guess you could say, north. And I'm kind of going straight west, right? So uh, it was trying to push the drone away from the highway, right? And I had to constantly try to correct it from going away from the highway, right? So, uh, well, yeah, I was working hard at it. <laughs> Speed limit reduced. But that's all right. That's all right. We managed to fly a little bit. Probably not the greatest footage today, but uh, I enjoy flying, right? So, uh, so I'm going to do it as much as I possibly can, right? <laughs> I managed to follow that truck up to here somewhere. I think up to that, uh, almost up to this corner here. So, yeah, it was uh, it was a pretty good distance there. So, and that's when we decided to turn around, come back, and yeah a good thing we did because uh as soon as i turned around and came back i flew a little bit the other way but then my battery kind of or my phone kind of died on me there for some odd reason when the phone gets cold it will die on me and so that's what happened there now then i can't see the camera anymore so i don't know where the can where the drone is right so then uh, what I did is I just quickly pressed the home button and the drone actually came back to me. And it was uh, something I hadn't experienced yet. That my phone actually died on me and wanted to see how that worked anyways. <laughs> and here we go. We got the experience. Although I did press the home button just before the phone died on me. So I don't know what it would do if the... Uh, phone was actually completely dead on me and then the uh, then I would lose the, the the phone so I don't know how, how that would go but one of these days we'll find that out but uh, yeah it could be a little scary situation I guess but but hey we got beautiful sunshine and uh, I mean I flew in, in the same type of type of wind speed before but just for some odd reason today it just seemed like it didn't really want to stay in the line that I wanted to fly in so maybe I was rushing it too much I don't know but anyways we're off on, on our way home now so uh, we'll get out of town and start heading home right Alright guys, we can just about uh, say goodbye to Ontario. Yeah, let's go see. I kind of figured that chicken house is going to be open. They like to be open on days like these because, uh, well, everybody is trying to get home, right? And so they like to uh, see if the guys are driving illegal to try and get home, right? to the right on Trans Canada Highway. Which I ain't doing, but uh, hey, there is probably some guys that would, I'm sure, just to try and get home, right? And uh, that's not me. They ain't gonna catch me doing that crap. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta go in here and see Mr. D.O.T. up here. See if they want anything from us today, which I don't think we got a good Continue company that we work for, for so. Kilometers. I don't think they're gonna want anything from us. But then again, you never know, right? You could always be surprised. Let's open up our window so we can hear them if they want to scream something at us. Yeah. We gotta make sure we stop here before we pull onto the scale. There we go. Let's see what they say. Yeah, he's looking at his computer screen there, probably checking out to see when and what scales I've passed and all that good stuff to make sure that we're legal, right? Ah, there we go, it says depart. Well, we're not going to waste any time, are we? No, sir, Bob, we're not. We're just going to get out of here ASAP. 
That's right. Gonna close our window real quick. And then we'll be out of here. Yeah. There we go. Now we can say bye-bye. Last scale. This was the last scale. Then we're basically home free. We can just about say we're home, but we're not quite home yet. We got about an hour and a half worth of driving to do yet. And then we'll be home sweet home. But welcome to Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. Let's push the last stretch home. I think we're gonna notch up the speed limit here a little bit. Push our speed limit a little higher. Oh, we got our windshield is a little dirty there. Didn't realize that, sorry about that guys. I hope you don't mind that. Every once in a while it gets blurry a little bit on the windshield. But like I said before, that's how it is in winter, right? But as soon as we enter Manitoba, we got a 100 km an hour speed limit, so uh, we can go a little faster, but not too fast, right? <laughs> I am now on Highway 12, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're only about 8 miles away from home, because I've been on Highway 12 now for a little bit, so uh, yeah, we are just about to hit home sweet home. Like I said, another eight miles and we'll be pulling into the yard. Yeah, that makes me happy, happy, happy. That sun over there is starting to go down. And that is looking fantastic, that reddish type of look there. I don't know how much that camera is picking it up, but uh, it looks fantastic to me. So I figured, you know what, let's get one more clip in here before we... Uh, to lose the sun right before it gets dark and when it gets dark we'll be pulling into the yard probably just about so uh, then I'll do my paperwork and all that good stuff so that's all taken care of I don't have to worry about it and uh, we'll have all of that done and then we'll uh, we'll be ready for Christmas I would really like to get my truck washed but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen I don't really care either, to be honest with you guys. I'm just going to park it at the Penner's Yard and let it sit over there. I don't care. I'm, I'm not even wanting to look at the truck in the next couple of days. I want to go home, enjoy my time with my family. I really hope that you guys are doing the same thing. I really, really hope that everybody is going to be able to make it home for their Christmas. Now, I know that uh, some of us are immigrants or you know that we moved here and we have family out in South America or all over the world you know and let's just keep those families in mind too they're not able to always go home and because that costs a lot of money to fly you know you can't always take that time off of work either so let's think of those families as well that uh, you know they're having to spend their time here without their family some of it some of them anyways so uh, my heart goes out to those people my heart goes out to those truck drivers that are not able to make it home that are having to spend their time on the road here over the holidays that really would suck if I would have to do that no I have come home one year on Christmas morning, on the 25th in the morning, I come home one time and uh, I didn't really like it, but uh, that was just the way it turned out to be and what can I say? This time I made sure we're going to be home. It's actually the 23rd right now, so, so yeah, we'll be home here in a few miles. behind me that day is gonna come